Hello, my name is Matthew Claudio, and my project is based on a Stuart platform. The purpose of this project is really to have a functional proof of concept for my senior design project, which is a ball balancing robot using PID control. The main idea uh, for this class's final project is to really prove the capability of a Stuart platform, as well as be able to measure uh, 3D real scale simulation in real time. So let's get started. So real quick, what is a Stuart platform? It's a system that uses servos, motors, or linear actuators to give a platform a full six degrees of freedom. For each motor or servo, we have a degree of freedom applied to the system. So here, first off, we have the base, and then we have our motor, and then there's a servo horn and a rod that connects to the platform here. In more advanced systems, they use linear actuators, which would have a hypotenuse here, and that would be where the actual linear actuator would go rather than these over here. And they have really cool applications such as tanks when they're aiming and moving on rough terrain or flight simulators or docking stations such as the ones on the International Space Station. So I use MATLAB to record and simulate the output motion of a Stuart platform using an Arduino. And the way I did this was measure and or calculate things like the length of the connecting rod, servo horn, radius of the stationary pivot points. Uh, these can be seen here. Once I had these, I was able to calculate the roll, pitch, and yaw of the platform and how they equated to the movement of the servos. This math is very heavily based on inverse kinematic equations that I essentially plugged into MATLAB for them to do it for me. This is right over here. So whenever the servo moves, the MATLAB does math and then it makes the figure do what the platform is actually doing by using kinetic, uh, inverse kinetic equations and updates the figure. So because this process is done in real time, we need to have a constant communication to the Arduino. MATLAB actually has an Arduino IO package that provides a code to upload to the Arduino, which turns it into a server that awaits commands via serial communication. This is the code file that MATLAB has that you upload to the Arduino, which gives MATLAB access to any servers that are connected to the Arduino. And then the server is just constantly awaiting uh, commands from the serial port over here. And then MATLAB is actually providing those commands, meaning that you have to have your code in MATLAB telling the Arduino what to do. The only code on the Arduino is the one that communicates with MATLAB waiting instruction. So this here is the final code along with the figure MATLAB generates based on the Arduino. So first things it does is connect to the Arduino uh, and the pins that it wants to connect to. And then there is the inputs, which does lots of math, which is what allows this figure to be generated. And then it reads and outputs to the Arduino because again, the Arduino was just a server. And then once as the Arduino moves in the Stuart platform, it actually moves the figure as well. And this is the three dimensional figure. The red represent the base of the Stuart platform, whereas the blue represent the top part that actually moves. The circles are the connection points. The blue circles are the dynamic points which actually move and pivot based on the platform where the red are stationary because these are the output shafts of the motor. These green lines are not the rods. They're actually the hypotenuse of the length of the rod and the servo horn that connects to the output of the servo. So unfortunately, because my senior design group didn't actually order the servos yet and this MATLAB code is designed to constantly be reading the servo positions through the Arduino, the figure does not actually update or move in real time because the way the code is designed, I have it simulating or mimicking the position of the Arduino servos. So for that reason, the figure actually doesn't update in real time the way I wanted it to. However, the math to generate this figure is accurate to the scaling and dimension wise of the components we're using in senior design. So the math does 
work as much as it is long and tedious to do. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the project anyway, and thank you.